The past is your playground. Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, bish! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload? Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. The Iron Ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right, my mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. 
I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the greed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. Have fun. <laughs> Don't die. Send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. in or out, unless there's a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. Sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man! Run along home.
Maybe you'll settle down when I've ripped your guts out. That's close enough. Here we go again. Mr. Ferris, sir, the, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine, but dock his wages. Yes, sir. Should we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? Is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it.
We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Yard. Guard quarters. Bruce's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose sense. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Brewster's supplies? Meter. version. like Jacob's cooking. That should keep you busy while I head into your lab. Oh, 
follow me down the tracks. You stay here. And keep a lookout. All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. with the device. Your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention. You have been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the Order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David, I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised a tour of the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. Turns a blind eye when I come home with the earnings. You can bet your last shilling. Now we're talking. <laughs> no. Ah, thank you kindly. 
I was in ever such a squeaky fix when, what do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? Untie me and then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. Uh, now, untie me? You got yourself in? I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. Downstairs, then. I want to see that artifact. Not if you value your life. <clears throat> Itself. Oh, I'll get the poet. What There you are. The entrance to Bruce's lab.
track. of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. Time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Staric. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. Will we fight to gain what we cannot take with us? in our nature.
What was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all, a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. But the Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, oh, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father, you could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. <laughs> Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Call Dr. Grammatica. <sighs> Come on. Who is a pal? What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck.
I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Ben pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Okay. You little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Oh, rip your tongue out. Right out. Excellent. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Oh, oh my God! God. We, we should light up with service. <laughs> not on my watch! Mr. Green's shop located. It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You're never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh. Well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? This is the highest point in Whitechapel. <laughs> Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. 
A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets, and Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. I my looks. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come, let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. One of Starrick's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starrick gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the Blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the Rooks. this city no one looks where they're going yes I've noticed that bloody drood I'll never finish it at this rate only Providence knows where those words are headed now well I must get to work replacing them should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot ta-ta what an odd man that mr. Fry was Charles Dickens knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah, you might be able to use this. Oh God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. A girl, we need to lead them away from green. Here comes trouble. <laughs> the carriages are easily damaged. to return to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. What do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry copy of that part of my I say we turn the carriage around and go find it. This is where you want to show. Easy girl. Did you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Starrick's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starrick has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. 
My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Staric never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock. Known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. What's the plan then, oh mighty planner? You're the one with grand ideas. Yes, a good girl. Even the elf. <laughs> What's this all about? Bagger. You think you're so
any fuss. Sit, come here! I'm not any trouble at all. I, I don't want to be here, and you don't want me here. Just... How many creeps do you have left to destroy? Why don't I come over there and give you a good thrashing? <laughs> Distribute the dynamite then, and carefully. Very good, sir. We want this to come into the blighter's hands without harm. No mishaps.
must be one of the clinkers. Good place to start. Clinkers. Good place to start. seem to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. 
Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence, something you clearly need. No, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Rook, to me. Right, Charge him. Right, I'm coming to deal with you. Oh, That's very funny. Get out of here! Oh, oh. I do. Oh. Yeah. Can you put it all with him? Oh. 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 I thought you were hard. Oh. 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 Oh.
I don't see Mr. Aberon. Well, we tried. Psst. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? God's sake! Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Aberline, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman.
This one won't be needing breakfast tomorrow. explain this back at the station.
You! You're hired! Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Here. Yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm.
Appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the Blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. You bastard! I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that dirty ball bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? This is serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring.
talk or restore in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Give me a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our nights and home before we're ready. Oh, blast them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing, syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, oh um... Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, it looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Static Telegraph Company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, 
Starrick will be weakened. Only we are somewhat at a handicap. And there. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. Miss Fry, I am so glad you assist me. You really ought to be here by now. I say, I hope you understood I meant today. If she can't find a way here, how did... So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I will tend to the bell. Phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry. Human voice. Phonetic telegraph. <laughs> Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the Stark Telegraph Company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small Easy independent girl. companies have had their lines sabotaged, and they have little means of finding any who confuses, which are... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. Especially as one needs a special government pass to get through the guards. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. Lovely view. Thank you. 
all set. That should do it. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... But, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works.
bigger than the Electric and International. Ah, Miss Fry. Uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> and on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at uh, any time.
Now that we've finished with that distraction... Who is that? Oh, you mean you don't know? Beautiful train you got here. Miss McBean was just telling me all about her. Name's Ned. How do you do? I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. Let us return to locating the piece of Eden. We need to reclaim London from Staric. Who are my targets? It's not time for that yet. I didn't come to London to hunt curios. First understand the dance, only then become the dancer. Oh, so you're taking over where father left off. Someone has to. Evie, finding the precursor artifact will give us an insight into what the Templars intend. Jacob, I have information about Starek's associates that should be of use to you. Here. This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. I don't see that cure arriving anytime soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the piece of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars.
to make my living. My husband thought the... Dead stag soothing syrup right here! It's all he drinks. Your syrup is liquefying him. He's turning him simple-headed. Now, look now. You are scaring away my customers. Why don't you bugger off or I'll give you something to remember me by? You can't talk to me like that, you little guttling. What's all this then? Oh, sod off! If you'll excuse me, madam. Tell me where the syrup originates. All, all I know is they make a run each day between the gasometers and the asylum. Find out where that syrup is made, shall we? Show you a new here. Maybe you'll change your attitude if I come You think you're safe because you're all there? How'd you do?
The man in charge of the syrup distribution runs a fighting club at the foundry. or forever hold your... The distillery. It's the large building beside the brewery. Now, to stop soothing syrup production once and for all. Keep a sharp eye out, lads. 
Someone's targeting our network. The distillery might be next. This will complicate things. You should not go about frightening respectable gentlemen, young man. I didn't realize snooping around was considered gentlemanly. Snooping? Sir, I assure you... Keep vigilant! Quick, inside. That was too close a call. You, young man, gave me quite a fright. I thought you were one of them. But I realize now why you're here. Same reason I am, I imagine. I imagine? You should see this. Rather impressive contraption, wouldn't you say? I've seen bigger. Stramonium, or Devil's Snare as it is commonly called, that goes into the syrup and opium, no less. Revolting. Absolutely sickening. A favorable way to proceed, wouldn't you agree? out of here quickly what about the other valves take a wild guess what the hell was that very well young man how much do they sell this panacea for us <laughs> we got a visitor what's he doing here?
Well done. Charles Darwin, delighted to make your acquaintance. Jacob Fry, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> While you were busy wreaking havoc, I found this. It indicates that a sample of every batch has been sent to Lambeth Asylum. Oh, I wonder if it's visiting hours. Don't be so hasty, Mr. Fry. Many people work at Lambeth. You wouldn't want to attract unwanted attention. Mm. Where's the fun in that? Not every problem can be solved by blowing things sky high. Sometimes a little discretion is in order. It's getting late. I will meet you at the asylum to continue our investigation. I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> drive, damn you, drive! Ah. <sighs> 
that is Richard Owen. A vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! None at all? If you're trying to intimidate me, Ruffy, and you're wasting your time. I've always wondered how much of a beating this type of vehicle could take. Who's a good horse? You are. for you, sir. Whatever it is, Darwin, Rob, I will not give in. What about Starek's soothing syrup? Soothing syrup? Why would a scientist have any interest in panacea? I wager your life, Mr. Next stop, the River Thames. Better speak now, old man. Stop! Say, stop, and I would tell you everything I know. Doing fine. Dr. Elliotson, Dr. John Elliotson, he formulated the elixir. He's the man you want. Oh, not well. me. I beg you, good sir, stop the madness. Now, was that so hard? Yes. Ah, Jacob, uh, Miss uh, Fry, how good to see you. Oh, have you seen Stalick's latest lies? Lies in a newspaper? What transpired from the new line you're establishing? Oh, the cables we ordered never arrived. And then we intercepted this. A message mentioning cargo seized at College Wharf. Then let's unseize it. Oh, uh, wait. Another intercepted wire contained the recipe for a powerful hallucinogenic serum. I've adapted this dart mechanism to work with your bracers. Alec, you're a genius. Well, that patently is untrue. Although I've also discovered that the serum adopts a form of a gas when subjected to heat. Just when I think you can't surpass yourself.
Let's stir up some trouble.
Is a dull nail. On your Good orders. Thing. Let's wreak havoc, shall we? Yes, Doc. You. Do you with me? Up. must know what kind. Stay here. We're done here. Yeah. 
careful there, Mr. Bell. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. But you have triumphed once again. How do you know? We have entered the age of communication, remember? We've already received word from Greenwich that the shipment has arrived safely, thanks to you. Have you discovered what else is in that shipment? Indeed. Um, I'm afraid that Starrick's poison has found its way onto the open market. If he believes that will stop us, he is mistaken.
the aura of death surrounds thee both. Get thee behind me! <laughs> Alas, these days, stupidity is all too prevalent. You know, I never asked your names when we last met. I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother Jacob. Tell me, do you believe in ghosts? Not particularly. Yes. I'm skeptical myself. Here we are, in the world's most advanced city, yet its citizens are so enthralled to the supernatural, they leave themselves vulnerable to charlatans. Which is why I joined the Ghost Club, the first society in the world to look systematically at the phenomenon. Because truth, like a spirit, must be cajoled before it will reveal itself. Will you join us? Sounds absolutely ridiculous. Why not? It does sound intriguing. Splendid. I have your first case. There's been some disturbing reports about a series of assaults in Lambeth. People claim they're being attacked by an age-old demon, spring Heel Jack. The fiend is no doubt on the prowl as we speak. It's up to you to find him. Luckily, he was frightened away by some passers-by. Somebody has to do something before he attacks wow. another. Hmm. <laughs> 
I have you now. Marks on the walls. Settle down when I've ripped your guts out. <laughs> Not a time. I have you now. warehouse lots of guards mass lunatic inside this is the bloody life
You've got work to do. How are things? 
Oh, yeah. 